In India, the one thing that you see in many places is fields of paddy, the crop. When you look at paddy, the way it grows, initially, when there's no grains there, it would be pointing right up, all stiff. But little by little, with time, the grains have come, it's borne all the grains, and what happens is something very beautiful. The crop would bend. When it has all the grains, it would bend and point to the ground. It's just a regular thing, isn't it? Not when you're with Swamiji. He would point to that paddy and he would say, can you see the beauty of what has happened? It's when you're full of grains, it bends so elegantly in humility. It was all stiff, now it's bent. It's important. That's what we learn from it, he would say. With humility comes greatness, isn't it? Everything about it, the way he spends every single moment really represents that. There's a simplicity to everything that he does. I'm saying this probably from the perspective of a devotee, but to make a point, I'll still tell you, countless people would come and seek him out with some prayers in mind, and many would be bestowed. And when these people come back to him to tell him to express that sense of thankfulness, to tell him that, thank you, it happened. You know what he would say? Sitting in the ashram, he would point to Krishna there and he would say, I'm not capable of all of these things. It's not my doing. Please don't associate all of these with me. It's all him. He's hearing you and he decided to make your wishes come true. I had nothing to do with it. I'm also sitting here. He would always not attribute anything to himself and he would show us. If I have, say, a talent and I'm good at it, and there's lots of people that recognize that, it's in my nature to feel that sense of pride. My ego gets bloated up. When you look at how Guru Maharaj does it, he teaches by being that. He would say, first, thank. Thank that Supreme Father, that Supreme Being that gave this gift to you. It's all because of Him. I'm just the instrument and all of this is just flowing. He would teach that. He would teach how to be humble by not saying, by not instructing, but by being like that. The transformation that He has caused in countless lives is not by talking or writing or by teaching, but by being who he is.